as the crew continues to work on the uh, wild foot. We take a look at barefoot now with Fred Schaefer, and Fred will go up against Gene Patterson in Bigfoot. Now, they've watered the track there at the starting area. It's a little loose on the line, and both drivers are trying to pack down the dirt to get a better bite. There's a look at Gene Patterson in Bigfoot. That's that dry hop procedure we were telling you about a moment ago that came over from the sport of drag racing. In drag racing, they do it to heat the tires to get a little bit sticky. In monster truck racing, they do it to clear out the path in front of them. They don't have to worry about bite with those big cleats or those big bars on those tires. So it's Dodge against Ford in the semis as Andy Brass looks on because he will face the winner of this one for the championship here in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. Schaefer came up on the turtle converter trying to get out of the hole quick, Gary. Oh, how close was that one? Let's get the opinion of an expert down there. You call it. Who do you think won? I think Fred did there a little bit. It looked like he did hit the second ramp a little faster than what Gene did. It looked like Gene pulled him pretty good over the first set of hills, but when Fred landed, he's running a, he's running a Crower Glide with the clutch in it, and it, it gives him that, like, slingshot effect right when he lands, and I think that might have helped him out a lot there. Can you handle the dodge? Yeah, we can. The voice of confidence as we take another look at the replay, and here's what Andy Brass was talking about. Now, watch this slingshot effect on the landing. Yeah, when he settles down, it's like winding up a rubber band. The harder it goes, the tighter it gets. Well, let's talk to our winner. There's a look at the finish, Fred Schaefer. Well, Fred Schaefer climbs out of barefoot. Now, Fred, like we say, we know there's a big meeting of the top guns, and they told you to go after those Fords. Now it's down to one-on-one. -on -one. Can you handle Andy Brass? I don't know, Army. I'll tell you what, that, that big Dodge motor in there is doing the job of... Uh, if I can do my job in here, I think we're going to come out real good because that Dodge motor's got the power. Okay, now Andy said something about the transmission you have, the fact that no man's land is where you can really plant all that Dodge horsepower. Can Getting off the line, is that as important to you, or are you going to try to pull him on the other end? Well, I think that horsepower is going to make it up between the cars, hopefully, uh, but I want to stay with him on the line. If I can stay with him on the line, I think between the cars, I'll get him. It should be interesting. We'll take a look again of this run between Barefoot and Bigfoot coming right at you. There's the crush cam. There's the undercarriage of Barefoot. So it's going to be an all-foot final from Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania, coming up next. Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania, where Ford trucks present the Penta four-wheel and off-road Jamboree Summer Nationals, a part of the BF Goodrich Performance Series. These Jamborees offer a host of activities for the truck lover, as well as the entire family. To find out more, call or write the special events promotion company. Now, during the commercial break, the folks here have been having a good time, but the atmosphere in the Bigfoot camp has not been so pleasant. Let's send it over to Army Armstrong, who's with a very disappointed Andy Brass. Andy, can you explain to me why you're not going to be making a final? Well, we're going in. We checked the truck there. We've been to the rear sway bar. It's got a cantilever suspension there, which run the whole rear suspension of the truck. It's tweaked out uh, about six inches out of, out of its uh, normal pattern. So we're just kind of afraid that if we do make the run, we're liable to, to break, break the bar off or, or mess up our shocks or something. You know, we're going to do more damage than we are good. We're looking at only 200 points in this round, so we're kind of figured we're going to give up the points and uh, have it ready so we can qualify for the next race later on. You know, we're figuring now we're going to lose. You know, if, if we break the truck, we're going to lose more and won't be able to, like I say, won't be able to come back for the next race where we'll lose more points there than what we would if we just backed out and lost the 200 here. So benefiting from Andy Brass's misfortune will be Don Van Lu, who will be taking on the star of the Dodge fleet, Fred Schaefer's barefoot. For Van Lu, this marks his first ever final appearance on this circuit, but it's not the only initial item we have to talk about in the championship shootout. An earlier Army ask a very happy Don Van Lu about it. One thing for sure, Dodge is going to be happy after this next run. You and Fred Schaefer, first time that I can remember it being an all-Dodge final. Yeah, it's unreal. I, I can't really believe it myself that Dodge gets to come back with both trucks in the final round. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Now, you've been good all day long, but a little luck played a role here when they had to pull that other truck away to put you into this final. Yeah, maybe I can be lucky again and uh, beat Freddie. You know, I don't want to wish him no bad luck or, or anything, but I'd sure like to go to the winner's circle. Well, Army, it's always nice to be witness to history and two Dodges side by side for the championship. We are witnessing history. Well, Van Lu knows one thing for sure. The worst he can finish is second today. Side by side off the first jump, but there it is. The big red barefoot. The red Dodge of Fred Schaefer. Oh, we got a problem. 
rear steer went away on Van Lue. He's okay. Lou almost went on over. Van Lue almost got on his head that time. But there's a look at the Magnum Force truck as he finishes second. As we take a look one more time, even off the start, but down in no man's land, it was Fred Schaefer. The big Chrysler Hemi's making all the horsepower, like Fred said. If you can stick it, you can go to the other end quick. He did. Fred said the engine would do its part. Four out of four is Lindsberg. <laughs> and a half.